In this video, we'll draw the Lewis structure for Al3+, the aluminum ion. Before we do that, let's do the Lewis structure for aluminum, and then that'll help us understand Al3+. So for aluminum, when we look at it on the periodic table, it's a neutral element. It doesn't have a plus or minus charge. That's because it's protons and electrons, they're equal. When we look at the electronic structure, we know that aluminum, that's in group 13, sometimes called 3A, has three valence electrons in its outer shell. And you can see that here. There's one, two, three valence electrons. So to draw the Lewis structure, we could just put one, two, three electrons around aluminum, and that would be the Lewis structure for aluminum. But we're interested in Al3+. For Al3+, that three plus, that means we've lost three valence electrons. Electrons are negative, so you lose three electrons you end up with a positive three. So let's get rid of three electrons around our aluminum. And then over here in our diagram, let's get rid of those as well. So now we have Al3+. Plus, and that would be a reasonable way to write the Lewis structure for the aluminum ion. We should probably get rid of this outer shell here because there's nothing in it. When we do that, you'll notice something interesting. We've lost those three electrons, and we have eight electrons in that highest energy level, or outer shell right below this one here. So we have a full outer shell. We have an octet. It's very stable. And that's why when aluminum bonds with other elements, it loses these three electrons to end up and have this shell right here full. One last thing we can do to draw the Lewis structure for Al3+, and that's put brackets around the aluminum. You'll sometimes see it written this way. This is Dr. B with the Lewis structure for Al3+, the aluminum ion. And thanks for watching.